Hello, this is a quick guide to water conservation at home. Potential benefits in making changes. Habit changes can help you save instantly. Investing in energy and water efficient products lowers water use for appliances and can turn a profit from water bill savings in one to three years. Learning how to reduce your water footprint not only helps you save money, but also fresh water. The U.S. contains 7% of the world's global renewable freshwater resources, but the average American's water footprint is nearly twice the global average. All water uses energy to move, treat, and heat, so using less water contributes to saving energy simultaneously. Letting a faucet run for 5 minutes uses as much energy as a 60-watt light bulb running for 14 hours. So how and where can you save? In the bathroom, taking two to four minutes off your shower saves about 4,000 gallons and $100 per year. The average bath uses 35 to 50 gallons, so make baths an occasional treat. The simplest way to save water in the bathroom is to not run your faucet continuously. Turn it off while shaving or brushing your teeth and use cold water. Flushing is the biggest water waste in the house. Conventional toilets can use up to seven gallons of water per flush, whereas low-flow models can use 1.6 gallons per flush. If it's yellow, let it mellow. Flush your toilet less by only flushing when needed. Another place to save around your house is the washing machine. Fill the washing machine all the way up and run with cold water to save energy. Running half as many loads per year saves about $150 in energy and water costs. Don't let your kitchen faucet needlessly run. Defrost foods overnight and install low-flow faucets to reduce water use by about 3.5 gallons per minute. Fill the dishwasher all the way up and scrape your plates before washing them instead of pre-washing them with water. Outside, avoid watering gardens when the day is at its hottest hours since the water will evaporate quickly. Landscaping typically requires one inch of water per week, including rainfall, so avoid overwatering. Consider more sustainable ways of watering like a drip irrigation system or rain barrels. If you use a car wash, find one that practices conservation by recycling their water. If you wash your own car, use buckets to hold water or turn off the hose when not using it. Cover your pool to avoid water evaporation. You can also save indirectly. Shop from thrift stores, make reusable purchases, and donate items instead of contributing to water use through the processing and transportation of everything we buy. Recycle paper, cans, and bottles. As always, saving water saves energy. Your diet also uses water. It takes an enormous amount of water to produce animal products, and we waste about 40% of our total food supply every year, which also wastes about 25% of all fresh water consumed annually. So eat what you buy, save leftovers, or compost food scraps. Invest for more. Invest in water sense labeled products for your toilets, shower heads, or faucets to cut water waste in the bathroom and save on your water bill. The average family could save more than $140 per year in water costs. Energy Star appliances such as refrigerators, washing machines, and dryers are more energy efficient and generate electricity savings. So what can you do now? Perform a step-by-step -step sustainability assessment. Calculate your own water footprint or for your family. We've mentioned many options for behavioral changes and opportunities to invest for more. However, there are more options and ways to conserve and contribute farther. How much water can you save if you took two minutes off your shower? How can you make saving water a habit that will last? Look into your assessment and goals to find habit changes in the areas that you can cut water use the most. Saving money and putting it towards investing in sustainable household upgrades can save you even more. Lastly, you can make a difference. Conserving water reduces demand on your local water supply, which helps make your community more resilient in the face of drought and booming populations. How much could you save if you use water more thoughtfully and strategically?